Hi there, Prasad Domala here. Today I came across a situation where my Linux virtual machine went out of disk space while exploring some other uh, product on the machine. My initial disk size was 30 gigs, but after installing a couple of uh, disk hungry Oracle products, all that space was used up and I ended up uh, increasing the size and repartitioning the virtual hard disk. Let me show you how, how I did that quickly. This is my virtual machine setting screen. And as you can see, my max disk size is 30 gigs. I will add another 10 GB and make it 40 GB in total. So to do that, you need to click on expand here and give the size of the disk. In my case, it's 40 GB and click on expand. Now you will get the confirmation that the disk was successfully expanded, but you must repartition the disk to use that uh, new disk space. Click OK here. Let me log into VM as root. I'm logged into my uh, virtual machine as root, as you can see. Uh, let me first check my disk space using DF and H. So as you can see, the disk space is 27 gigs now. And let's see the actual disk size using F disk. So that would be F disk hyphen L. So here you can see the total disk space and the disk name is dev SDA. Let's create a new partition now. You can do it using F disk command and then your disk name that is dev SDA. And now it will ask you to provide the command. So if you are not aware of the commands, you can always type PM. It will list down all the commands. In our case, it would be add new partition. So I'm typing in N. And it will ask you the type of the partition, whether it's extended or primary. In our case, it would be primary. So P. And as you can see, it automatically selected partition 4 because uh, the first three partitions are already used. SDA1, SDA2 and SDA3. So our new partition number will be 4. And you can accept the first cylinder as well as the last cylinder. You just press enter. Now you need to select the partition and change its type. So to select the partition you need to type T and then provide your partition number. That would be 4 in our case. And then you need to provide the hex code for the partition type. So to get the list of the hex codes, you can always type in L and then it will give you the list of all the hex codes. In our case, it would be Linux LVM. So the hex code would be 8E. So type in 8E. Now we have specified the type of our partition. And then you need to write all these changes or save all these changes. For that, the command is W. So now you have written all these changes to the partition table. Now your new partition is created. It's time to extend your physical and logical volumes. But before that, you need to reboot your uh, system once. So let me reboot my system and come back quickly. Now the system is restarted and I'm logged in as root again. Now it's time to create your physical and logical volumes. So let me create the physical volume first. To do that, you can use pv create command and then your new partition name. That would be slash dev sda4. Okay, now your physical volume is created. Now it's time to extend your volume group. So for that, you need to find out the volume group name. So to do that, you can specify vg display command which will give you your volume group details so our volume group name is vol gro up so let's extend that volume group so to do that you need to provide vg extend command and then your volume group and then your partition name that would be dev sda3 sorry sda4 Okay, your volume group successfully extended now. Now it's time to extend your logical volume. 
So to get the logical volume path, we can specify LV display. So here you can see your logical volume path is this one and your logical volume name is LV underscore root. So here we need to take the path, not the name. Okay, to extend the logical volume, you need to use LV extend command, and then your logical volume path, and then your new partition, dev sda4. Okay, now your logical volume is extended. Now it's time to refresh your logical volume. So you can do that using resize to fs and then your logical volume path. Okay, now your uh, logical volume is refreshed. Now you can check your new uh, disk space using df-h command. As you can see, our disk space is increased by 10 GB. And that's how you increase your uh, virtual hard disk size on your VMware. Please check my blog for all the commands I used in this video. I'll leave the link in the description. Hope you all liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more technical videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one then. Bye.